Hello all dear friends. In this video, let's talk about that against the background of the counterattack of the AFU. The Russian army found itself in a difficult situation in Bakhmut. Thus, it is getting closer and closer to a solution that will completely destroy the criminal group Yevgeny Prigozhin and deprive it of any influence. Since the beginning of May 2023, the Russians have stepped up their rocket attacks, which have not been many in the last two months. Now the attacks happen almost every day, and sometimes several times a day. They already understand that the offensive as such has begun. And one of the indicators of the offensive is the increase of weapon supplies from Western partners, emphasizes Roman Sveden. He notes that there are no large arms depots in Ukraine, because there is a clear understanding that then the enemy will be able to destroy them. Consequently, all weapon stockpiles are located on the territories of partner countries. Under such conditions, the key task of the Ukrainian command is to adjust the logistics competently so that weapons arrive as quickly as possible from partner depots to the front line. At the same time, the task of the Russian army is to prevent this. On May 13, near Bryansk, there was an unexpected air parade, which ended in a cascade of drops of Russian equipment. Two Miles 8 helicopters, as well as Su-34 and Su-35 bombers took part in this action. The reasons are unknown. A military expert immediately rejected the version that the organizer of the demonstration might have been the Russian air defense system. They say they have a system of recognizing friendly, alien, so they know exactly to whom a particular plane or helicopter belongs. This is defy nightly our work. The question is the mechanism. There is a probability of sabotage groups entering, but it would not be such a number of boards at once. So DRGS can also be ruled out, stated the instructor pilot. Moreover, he pointed out that judging by the video published by the Russians in the social networks, the aviation was destroyed by anti-aircraft missiles. Therefore, he admits the most probable variant of the missile ambush, according to which the Ukrainian troops pulled air defense systems close to the border, which put on an air show for the Russians. Yevgeny Prigozhin said that there were mass escapes of Russian soldiers from near Bakhmut. They say this phenomenon is so widespread that the Wagnerians in the barrier squadrons are short of shells. Prigozhin has a big problem, because the Russian troops could actually retreat. At the same time, it may not be a retreat, but a retreat to the correctly chosen lines of defense, this is the area of Papasna, said a reserve colonel of the AFU. In his opinion, such a move would be a shot in the head for Yevgeny Prigozhin. Say, he spent a whole year overcoming 30 kilometers to Bakhmut not to now run back in 30 minutes. He will not knock it out in the information field. That's why he's starting to get hysterical. But that's his problem. In Bakhmut our troops will simply destroy him, convinced Roman Sveden.